Hey guys, and welcome back to week two of our Hug Your Home Challenge. And this week we are decluttering the kitchen. I have a handy dandy printable that you guys can download down below. I'll put the link so you can follow along with me. For this week's challenge, we are decluttering the kitchen, but we are not pulling everything out and making a giant mess. This is lazy decluttering, quick and easy. I have to be kind of honest with you, my kitchen generally always stays pretty tidy and clutter free, but it wasn't always the case. This was the one room in my house that I struggled with the most. And the reason I no longer struggle is because I did a major declutter and I continue to declutter the space really often. And I also incorporated a nighttime cleaning routine. The secret to having clutter-free countertops in your kitchen is finding spots for all that stuff in your cabinets, which means you have to really declutter the cabinets and that's what we're doing today. We're finding those appliances that you hardly ever use. We're finding space for your toaster so it can get off the counter. We're creating new homes by getting rid of stuff that we never use. We're gonna start by purging five, like a minimum of five, food storage containers. This could be mismatched lids or ones you hardly use. I want you to remind yourself that just because a container is useful or still in great condition, if you're not using it, it isn't useful for you and it's time to let it go. We need to give our cabinets breathing room. So at least five food storage containers have to go right now. So I found a lot of containers to get rid of and here's the honest truth. These are in great condition. So I've been holding on to them. I've been holding on to them because they're useful, but the truth is I never use these. So I'm being ruthless. This is one of the cabinets in my kitchen that's the hardest to keep organized. And the reason is I have too many. So I'm getting rid of anything that we haven't used and we don't use on a regular basis. It's not wasteful to donate things that you're not using when they're in great condition. You're giving them to someone who's actually going to use them. But the best part is you're making space so you don't have to constantly be tidying up your food storage container cabinet. Now let's talk about how to organize the ones that you've decided to keep. If you're a bee or a cricket, you probably are a bit of a perfectionist and like to pair them with the lid and stack them all together. If you're a butterfly or a ladybug like me, you probably like the idea of stacking all of your stuff really neatly, but your cabinet might be a big giant mess. A quick tip is to stack the bottoms together and have a basket that you can toss in all the lids. And make sure that all your containers are sort of matching. It's so much easier to stack them together. It's a bit of an investment, but it's totally worth it. Now it's time to declutter mismatched mugs or glasses, and we're opting just for five. I totally declutter this all the time, so I don't know if I can find five, but I'm gonna try. We keep all of the kids' dishes down here, and the truth is they've kind of outgrown the princess cups. They're 10 and 12, so I can definitely let some of these go. Now I want you to run around your kitchen and find 15 things as fast as you can that can go. This can be expired food, things from your drug drawer, pots and pans you never use. It doesn't really matter. 15 things on your mark, get set, and go. recommend that you relocate the larger less used items like mixers or roasting pans to another area of your home that isn't your kitchen like your garage or a storage room this is really gonna free up the valuable real estate in your kitchen for the things that you use all the time and give you extra space for the toaster or blender or other things that right now are on your counter because they don't have a home. Now it's time to declutter the countertops and the table. And the truth is my counters and table are already clutter free, but that's because I created homes for the things that usually piled there. I definitely recommend if paper clutter is an issue in your kitchen, having either a basket or an accordion file folder, some sort of paper holding place to go in the meantime, right in your kitchen to eliminate that paper clutter. Last but not least, we're gonna find 10 more things that can go. For my last 10 things, I'm gonna go through my kids' snack cupboard in these baskets, which got filled with junk over the holidays and find 10 things that can go because they're old or crushed or expired or whatever. I like to love you. So I'm 
pretty proud of what I was able to declutter from my kitchen in just a few minutes. And don't forget to get your decluttering checklist. It's free. I'll put the link down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because next week we're decluttering the bathroom. We'll see you then. So thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I'm still crazy sick. I have no idea what's wrong with me. I've been to the doctor a bunch of times. I've been on like prednisone, I'm, I'm taking inhalers and cortisone shots and a bunch of stuff for my lungs which are like, there's something wrong with them. It's been six weeks, I'm still short of breath all the time, constantly coughing, so I apologize. I haven't been uploading very often and when I am, I'm like, I have to stop the camera like a million times to cough, so it's a whole big thing. But I thought I would share with you my Vegas story. Also, this story is not suitable for small children, any children. It's not suitable for adults either, but I'm telling you anyways, and no, it does not involve my boobs or my butt, but it is highly inappropriate. So now that you've been warned, I don't even know why I'm sharing this with you. Um, I, I'm, I don't drink and I don't really gamble and it was my birthday and so I wanted to have fun so I went to a place and I bought some candy which was um, had something in it and I really like candy so I probably eat more candy than I should have and it's totally legal candy but then I lost my mind. You know all those cliche things you see in the movies about paranoia and you think like people are watching you and everything's fake and you're on basically the Truman Show? It was that. It was that for like eight hours. It was me screaming into the air profanities and I know you're watching me to no one and it was really embarrassing and I am mortified and I just, the worst part is I saw one of you. You came up to me in the throes of it and you introduced yourself, you recognized me, you were like, hey Clutterbug, oh it's so nice to meet you. I'm not exactly sure what you said, but I do know what I said. I swore at you and then I ran away and so I apologize and that is why, that's what happened. It was not fun. I spent the rest of the trip very sober, like a normal middle-aged woman and I had a really great time, very completely sober. I'm pretty much sworn off gummy bears for the rest of my life too. Uh, but that was my Las Vegas experience. Oh my God, it, it was something. Uh, otherwise, I had a really fun trip. So again, to the really nice lady who I yelled at, I apologize and that's why. I'll see you next time.